what is divine and natural conception? Now well, there's a rebirth, rebirth within the spirit. What is it to be born? What is the resurrection? How do we have resurrection? While the baptism itself is what we end up seeing idealistically, but what's the meaning? How do we go into the water? How do we purge ourselves of sin? Sin has dirty humanity to the soul since Adam. But just as through one man, sin came into the world through Adam, also through one man, through Christ Jesus, it was cleansed. In the same way, what we end up seeing is that Christ has given us an ability to have perseverance. We understand that there is a cleansing essence into his soul, and that as we go into that water of the Holy Spirit, it purges us of any hatred and builds forth the veil of greatness and the mercy of God. If I want to build for a new life, if I want to be reborn, wake up every morning with Christ. Use the word of God and it builds forth sanctification. Sanctification leads forth into purification. And when we have purification, God can lift you up. It is not only ascension, we see this with Israel, when he even has a dream. How he goes up the ladder. In Kabbalah, in Israel, we talk about the master of the ladder. But he's talking about that ascension process, it's a purification process that leads into glorification. Now the whole idea is that God is able to receive what they receive, primarily instruction, Torah. He is one of the examples for it literally. But to understand that every individual has an opportunity every day for rebirth, for resurrection, to come to know Christ. So that we call into the Lord, Yeshua, Jesus, the son of David, the son of Abraham, the son of God, then Dabi, then Abraham, then Yadah. You actually are connecting that you're creating and you're building forth the Savior. That idea of even Shia, the word from Messiah is meant to cause us into kingship. We are born as servants in the slavery of sin, but we are reborn into the freedom in the image of the likeness of our Creator God, into the likeness of Christ Jesus. And because of the righteousness of the Lord, we are purified of our sins. He has wiped the slave clean. What is before you now is the purity that comes forth in the glorification process that comes from sanctification. Because of that, we go forth a new work. You are reborn. You are a new creature. Christ Jesus. And because of that, you have the infinite blessing. That God has given you the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the faithfulness, the fidelity. All things you look forth on faith. And because of that faith, you have a solid foundation, firm, edified, that's the victory. It is an everlasting victory from generation to generation. It goes on forever. And because of that, you receive the mercy and the splendor of the Lord God. Our message is simple. It's really so simple. Jesus is Lord. God bless. God bless America. I want to pray for you, for your families at this time of difficulty all around the world. As we see a time when there is darkness and fear so forth in this world, I want to pray for light. I want to pray for hope. For you, for your families, for this nation, and for all the world. Come together and join us online at International Ministry Online and American Jesus TV. God bless you. We'll see you on Sunday. And I see you.